going to talk about regenerative treatment. So there are a few regenerative treatments that we do offer if patients do not um, do well with other treatments such as steroid cortisone or the HA injections. However, some patients just choose to go into the regenerative treatment route despite trying any other injections, which is totally fine as well. Um, regenerative medication um, or regenerative medicine is when a treatment is used to try to heal the tissue or regenerate tissue, such as cartilage. So since we deal with a lot of joints, a lot of times regenerative medication or treatment can be used for joint pain like knees, hips, and shoulders. One of the regenerative treatments I want to discuss about is amniotic tissue injections. With amniotic tissue injections, it's basically tissue that is taken from a healthy pregnant woman after a C-section and processed and preserved. It is thoroughly cleansed and we have that tissue mixed with a normal saline and injected into the joint. Basically, the amniotic tissue has tons of growth factors, fibroblasts, and anti-inflammatory factors that help the tissue regenerate, and it creates an inflammatory process so your own body can start healing. It promotes self-healing. Patients do really well with these injections. There are risks, just like any other um, injections, of infection, inflammation, bleeding, or allergic reaction, but very minimal. Patients typically can repeat these injections every few months if needed. PRP is platelet-rich plasma. So with PRP, we draw the patient's own blood and spin it down in our PRP machine so it can suspend the platelets from the plasma. Now, platelets have tons of growth factors that can help with cell division. It can help stimulate cell growth um, and it promotes self-healing as well. So PRP, just like any other regenerative treatment, can be repeated every few months if needed as well. PRP can be used for arthritis, it can be used for ligamental damage, it can be used for tendon damage as well. So we can do it for golf, golfer's elbow or tennis elbow or anything. Um, a lot of times it's used for young patients as well, for um, shoulder pain, hip pain, and knee pain as well. We also do A2M injections, which is alpha-2 macroglobulins. It's very similar to PRP in that we draw blood from the patient and centrifuge it or spin it down to separate the red plasma from the yellow plasma. We take the red plasma is for PRP, but the yellow plasma is for A2M. Now we centrifuge that down a second time for A2M and we use what we get to inject into the joints, hips, knees, or shoulders for uh, pain relief. Now the A2M is a protease inhibitor, meaning that it stops the chemicals that usually destroy the cartilage, in our, which is what arthritis is. So we don't, we wanna prevent the cartilage from wearing and tearing. So the A2M inhibits that chemical that usually um, destroys the cartilage. So A2M, just like PRP, can be done multiple times over the course of months to years um, as needed, dependent on the patient. 